So before we start, we're going to go to Template Options and click on the Create New Template in Local Library button and click OK. Then we're going to call it the following name. And then click OK. We're now presented with a blank canvas, so we can start creating a template. We could use the grid editor if we wish, but in this example, we're going to be using a button which will allow us to not only create the horizontal slope or vertical, but also allow us to apply subgrade at the same time. And that button is Create Section. Go ahead and complete the form as shown. In the form, we've provided a code, a width of the new section, and we've chosen to apply a slope instead of a vertical distance. We've also got the option underneath to assign layers of subgrade with thicknesses, and then also assign materials, which you can see here we've got a slightly updated list. As we make adjustments to any of the cells, on the right hand side this graphic will give us basically an indication as to what it is that we're editing or creating as part of this section. Onto the top right hand corner of the form and you can see that we can apply what we're creating to both sides of the center line so we don't have to just create one on one side and one on the other the software is going to do both. Plot code will define whether or not the code itself will be shown with an offset on the cross sections that we plot later on. Let's click on OK down the bottom of the form and you can see how we've got those attributes now created within the screen. So we've got a 3 meter section at minus 3% plot code yes or no, so if we did decide we don't want to see this code plotted we can set that to no, followed by the code itself and the software has actually prefixed the left side and the right side with an L and an R. This means that the software can distinguish later on between the left sided codes and the right sided code, so it's important we have that L and R on both sides to make that distinction. And now we're going to create a curb, so let's go to the create curb button. Complete the form as shown. In the form, we've done pretty much the same as what we did with the create section. We've provided details for the widths and vertical distances for each element of the curve itself, and we've also provided a code. You can use the same form to create a, maybe for example, a dish. So you don't have to use all three lines within the actual table here. You could just create uh, a curve shape, which is just using two lines instead. Underneath that, we've provided the depth of the curb, the subbase extension, the depth of any material underneath the curb and then the material uh, the materials themselves. Then we've told the software we want the curb to be applied on both sides of the center line. Click OK. The curb has been created. Now what we're going to do is just quickly pop up to the form here and change the plot code yes or no to yes for the last code on the curb itself. Now, this is maybe a good point to discuss what happens if we want to make a change. Um, now, if we want to make a change to the actual section itself between the center line and the first code, we can do so using the grid editor at the top. Well, if we want to make a change to the subgrade, the way that we would do that is to actually use Edit Section. So we click on Edit Section, click OK, and then click either side of the center line. This will allow us to go in and, and update or change the layers of subgrade and maybe choose different materials. Now if you want to make the change to both sides, even though we've just clicked on the left, there is an apply subgrade edits to both sides button which we could check um, making sure that those changes would be applied on both sides. Click cancel. The same goes with a curb. We can make adjustments to the curb shape but what if we want to make adjustments to the actual curb construction itself underneath. To do that we click on edit curb click on OK to remove the message and then just simply left click over the top of one of the curbs. And in there we can make adjustments as we wish. And again down the bottom we can say apply the edits to both sides. Click Cancel. Now we are going to create two more sections. So the first section is going to be our verge or nature strip. Click on the Create Section button. Complete the form as shown. This is a relatively simple entry. We're applying a code, a width of section, a slope, but we're not going to be assigning any subgrade. We will plot uh, this on both sides of the template and plot the code itself. Click on OK. Now we're going to create our footpath section. So go back and click on Create Section. Complete the form as shown. 
So again, similar type of entry, we've got our code, the width of section, a slope, and we've applied uh, concrete. We've made sure that the section is being applied on both sides, and we're plotting the code again. Click OK. And again, as a reminder, if you have made a mistake, if you want to change the slope or the distances, you can do that up here. If you make a mistake with the subgrade, you can click on Edit Section and then left click on the section you wish to make a change to. Finally, we're going to add the batters. And to do this, we need to go over to the right hand side of the form. The left side and right side are controlled independently. Let's click on the left side entry. We want to apply batters, so we're going to click on the Slope Batters tab and type the following values. If we wanted to have a fixed width from centerline batter, we could also do that. If we didn't want a batter, we could leave the No Batters tab at the top. We're going to make sure that Slope Batters is checked and then click on OK. We're now going to do the same with the right hand side. Click on right hand side and type the following values and then click OK.